Hello Rebels, it's Kritikya and today in this video we will be learning about CSS units. So let's begin with CSS units. So in this video we will be learning about CSS units and about its values like uh, what are these CSS units and uh, different type of CSS unit like absolute length uh, C unit and relative length unit which one to use and some tips and tricks about them. CSS units so CSS has several different units for expressing in length and many CSS properties take length as an values uh, such as width, margin, padding, font size, border etc. Length is a number followed by a length unit which is also known as CSS unit uh, such as 10 is a number and pixel is a CSS unit and then 2m let's see uh, what are the two different type of css units the first one is absolute units centimeter millimeter inches pixel pit, point and pip pika are the absolute some of the absolute units so what are the benefits of absolute unit uh, what are absolute units the absolute length uh, are fixed and length expressed in any of this will appear as exactly that size which is uh, if you put a cent uh, centimeter uh, to a division it will uh, it will give one centimeter uh, length like uh, if the uh, let's assume your screen is uh, 150 centimeter and you give uh, a division or uh, length of uh, division a width of 50 centimeter then it will take 50 centimeter uh, whether you will see uh, it on a desktop or in mobile which is not good uh, for uh, to create a responsive website that's why uh, we don't use css absolute uh, css absolute unit on uh, websites or pay digital pages absolute lengths are uh, units are not recommended for you to be used on screen because screen size varies so much however they can be used if the output medium is known so, uh, for example uh, if you wa we can use centimeter inches pixel in photoshop because we want we know the output of that uh, result like a4 size uh, we want to print and page of a4 size Th there we know the output uh, for that reason so we can use absolute units but uh, for screen and website we we should avoid them and use relative units relative length units relative length units specify a length relative to another length property for example uh, these are the relative units called uh, name as m rem vh vw and percentage here em is uh, relative uh, to the font size of the element for example, if a font size of an, a paragraph tag is 16 pixel, which is by default, and uh, then if we give it a font size of 2m, then it will take uh, 2 times 16 pixel, which is like uh, 32 uh, pixels. So it will depend on that. Relative length units scale better dif between different rendering medium. Different rendering medium like uh, mobile, uh, desktop, uh, tablet. So, which is good for web development and other, which is good for uh, us web developer to create uh, responsive websites. Tips: the EM and RAM units are practical in creating a perfect scalable layout. Yes, viewports is equal to the browser window size if the viewport is 15 cent 50 centimeter wide uh, one vw uh, is equal to 0 0.5 centimeter here v, uh, vw is dependent on on centimeter when to use which relative unit in building complex scalable web application using relative unit uh, like M, RAM, VH, and VW. VH means view, uh, viewport height, and VW means view, viewport width. Uh, so this type of scalable website, uh, you which have many different elements, uh, should uh, be, be built using uh, relative units. 
but uh, on the other hand uh, there here that uh, the example of an email many emailers like outlook and gmail uh, which doesn't support uh, modern css properties uh, box shadows and other so we have to use uh, old uh, css uh, for them and we can use uh, we don't we, we can use uh, pixels and absolute units for to build a better layout on emailers because there is n not much uh, responsiveness going there so if you doesn't subscribe our channel uh, to subscribe it because we have our gi giveaway very soon because uh, we have created our own uh, nft collection when we get our first 500 subscriber and be even before that uh, we are giving uh, away this uh, nft for f absolutely free to each and every sus subscriber we have uh, there is a short uh, message inside this uh, inside this nft which uh, we have written for our subscribers uh, so you will get this nft nft for absolutely free which is on ethereum uh, this nft is on ethereum chain and it have unlocked well content and the only 500 are, are created because we have only 500 subscribers right now so right now we have 330 subscriber and each and every subscriber who can contact us uh, on my instagram kritik.sha uh, will get this free nft for for being with us uh, from the very beginning so thanks for watching and see you next time